okay so in this video we'll be talking about getting the inverse Laplace transform by um, using the uh, principle of partial function no? so the first step to have a review about rational function so for example we have this representation of our um, rational uh, rational fraction no? so we know that if we are going to get the the um, partial fraction of this one so we could have this one as uh, some uh, constant here over a certain factor of our denominator so we just call that one as ds uh, prime no so that had that one plus or maybe we could just write here um, a factor no we just have that one as factor of d sub s or ds then b another factor of d sub s no so then that so on and so forth so depending on the factor of our d sub s so this one here this one no? these two of them are what we called as partial fractions no okay so if we are given with a laplace transform which is a rational function so we could uh, break up that one to be a partial fraction okay so there are uh, cases no? there are different types of rational function fraction and each of that has their own way of um, dissolving or resolving the um, the rational function into a partial fraction so first uh, first case no? if our d sub x is or if the factors no? so we just have that one here. if the factors of d sub s are linear and non repeating okay so so basically this is also the same as um, integration using partial fraction no? so but this one will be doing the partial fraction in getting the inverse Laplace transform okay so if that is the case for example we have here a certain um, for example we have here uh, n sub s over d sub s so the partial fraction of this one will be a then factor of d sub s plus b factor of d sub s plus c factor of d sub s no? until we have consumed all the factors of our d sub s okay so if our d sub s has three factors so we will be a b c no over the factors not the distinct factors of our um d sub s or our denominator for our function okay so maybe we could um, appreciate this um concept if we will have a simple example no so we have this one here Okay, so we are going to get the Laplace transform of s squared minus 6 over s cubed plus 4 s squared plus 3s. Okay. Okay, so the very first thing to do for us is to have our solution here okay solution so we will have here s squared so we will first dissolve our given rational fraction into a into partial fractions okay so the factor of our denominator will be a over s no we could factor out s plus 
Um, maybe we should first illustrate now what are the factors of this one. Okay, so you have s squared minus 6 all over s times, so that will be s plus 1 times s plus 3, because 3 times 1 times 3 that will be 3, then 1 plus 1 that will be 4. No? Then we just have that minus 1 over s plus b over s plus 1. No? So you just make your uh, factors of your denominator as the denominator for each of the partial fraction. So c over s plus 3. Okay. So considering this one now, so we just write here. So we just um, what we are going to do is to divide this one to our um, given, no? to our, this one to the, our given rational function, fraction, then the quotient will be multiplied to A. So that, that is what we are going to do. So we have S squared minus 6 is equal to A times, so A divided, so we are going to div divide um this uh, denominator here with s, so we're left with s plus 1 and s plus 3, then to just multiply that one to s. So we have s plus 1, s plus 3, so same with b. So this one divided by s plus 1, so you will have only s times s um, plus 1, oh no, plus 3. Okay, then plus c times s s plus one. So the only way for this one is to uh, they call that one as uh, we could have that one here and here. We just multiply both sides by s s plus one and s plus three. So that will also be the same, no? This one because this will be uh, this will end up with only s squared minus six and all of this here okay so we are now going to solve for a b and c okay so we'll try that one so first let's have here uh, one method of that one is by substitution so if so let s is equal to zero so we'll substitute all of all the value of s is as zero so we have zero squared minus six is equal to a times s plus 1, so 0 plus 1, times 0 plus 3, plus b times 0, 0 plus 3, plus z times 0, 0 plus 1. Okay, so this will be equal to negative 6. This will be 1 times 3, so that will be 3a. So this will be equal to 0, no? B times 0, that is 0 times 0 plus 3, that will still be 0. This will be also equal to 0. So we're left with negative 6 is equal to 3a, no? So negative 6 over 3 is equal to 3a over 3, canceling our 3 in the other side. So we'll end up with a is equal to negative 2. So we have now our value for a. So, again, let's assume another number, no? Number of, or value of S. So, let S is equal to negative 1, no? So, the reason why we are selecting numbers is for us to have, to have, um, to have the uh, two of the constant here, A, B, or C, or A, B, or C, as I will be eliminated or will be equal to zero, no? So if I choose zero, so it is um, automatically, so B times zero, so this will be zero, and C times zero, that will be zero. So I will get, I will end up with A only, so that I could solve for A. So for this one also, I choose negative one, so that my A will be zero because that is negative one plus one, so that will be zero. Then my S also will be 0 because that would be negative 1 plus 1. So 0. So I will be solving for B. B no? So we have negative 1. So just substitute negative 1 squared. So this is S squared minus 6 is equal to A times negative 1 plus 1. So that will be 0. No? 
positive 1 plus 3 plus b times negative 1 times negative 1 plus 3 plus c negative 1 times negative 1 plus 1. Okay, so this will still be equal to 0. So we have negative 2 minus um, 6. No? I know this is squared, sorry. This squared, not times. So that will be 1 minus 6. No? So we'll have negative 5. So this is 0, 0. So we'll have only with B. So we have this will be negative 1 plus 3. That will be 2 times negative 1. So that will be negative 2B. So negative 2B over 2. So we have negative 5 over negative 2. So we just have the negative 2. So that we will have our B as positive. So our B is equal to positive 5 over 2. Okay, now let's have an assume again or again a uh, value for our s. So for this one, I will be going to eliminate a and b. So I will let s is equal to negative 3. No? So let s is equal to negative 3. So we'll end up with negative 3 squared minus 6 is equal to a. So, S plus 1 will be negative 1 plus, uh, negative 3 plus 1 times negative 3 plus 3. So, this will be equal to 0 plus B times negative 3 times negative 3 plus 3. Again, equal to 0 plus C negative 3, negative 3 plus 1. Okay. So, this will be 9 minus 6 is equal to this will be negative this will be equal to negative 2 times 3 so that will be 6 no 6c so negative 2 times negative 3 so that will be positive 6 so 6c so 9 minus 6 that will be 3 is equal to 6 over c a uh, 6c then we will have 6 c divide 6 then 3 over 6 so our c will be equal to 1 half no so we have solved for our a b and c so from our given partial fraction or rational fraction we could now dissolve that one as a partial fraction no? so we could say that the um, inverse laplace transform of S squared minus 6 all over all over S cubed minus uh, plus 4 S squared plus 3 S is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of our A. So our A is uh, A over S. So A over S. So that would be the value of a is negative 2 over s plus so our b is 5 over 2 so that will be b over s plus 1 or uh, one, 5 over 2 over s plus 1 then our c so that will be 1 half 1 half over so C, so S plus 3. No? S plus 3. Okay. So using the, uh, the using one of the property of inverse Laplace transform, so we could uh, evaluate the, this one individually. So we'll have inverse Laplace of negative, negative 2 over S plus inverse Laplace of 5 over 2 over s plus 1 plus inverse Laplace inverse Laplace of 1 half over s plus 3 okay 
So using so this is just a uh, basic inverse Laplace transform of elementary functions, no? So this will be equal to negative. So it will be equal to negative So that will be equal to negative two, then negative two plus. Now that will be five over two e to the negative t. So our a there is one, then followed by the function which is t, no plus one half e to the negative three. And this is now our answer for this problem. Okay, so we have here the second case, which is when the factor of d of s are linear and are repeated. Now, if that's the case, we're going to write here our rational fraction, so n over s times uh, over d s, so that will be equal to a, then the first repetition of the factor so that will be the degree of that will be the equal to 1 plus b over the same factor of d over s but now that will be equal to 2 plus and then we will get to a certain point so you see of n over factor of factor d of s and that will be equal to it will be raised equal to n huh? okay so that we are going that is how we are going to dissolve our rational, rational function fraction into a partial fraction okay so let's add an example for this one so that we could better appreciate this uh, formula here no so we have we need to find the so the inverse Laplace transform of 5s cubed minus 6x minus 3 over s cubed s plus 1 squared. Okay, so how we are going to do this one? So we are just write first here our solution. Okay, so we just dissolve this one into partial fractions. We have 5s cubed minus 6x minus 3 all over s cubed s plus 1 squared. No? So we have uh, two factors. So one is repeated three times and the other one is twice. No? So we have a over s so for this first factor here. So b s squared plus c s cube no then plus d over s plus one plus e over s plus one squared okay then we'll just multiply both sides with um, s cube s plus 1 squared so on the other on this side of the equation we are just write first legibly the s here no? so it will be s so on this side of the equation so we will just have 5s cubed minus 6x minus 3 no? then we will have so divide by s so that will be s squared so a s squared plus uh, no, uh, multiplied by s plus 1 squared no? then we will have plus b so we will left with here with s times s plus 1 squared for c so that will just be s plus 1 squared, no? So, s cubed, s plus 1 squared divided by s, so we just have this one. Plus d, so we will 
this will be divided by this one so we will have ds cube then we will have s plus one and for our e no plus plus e so that will be equal to s cube okay so we just first and uh, then we will just um, have this one distributed no this term still distribute so that we could have a equation in which we will know the degrees of our s so we have 5 s cubed minus 6 x minus 3 is equal to that will be a s squared times s so that will be s cubed oh no so we just first this is s squared so that will be s squared s squared plus 2s plus 1 so s plus 1 squared so we need the first to um, break down this one also or to get the product of this one plus b then s times s squared plus 2s plus 1 no? for this one then plus c so we'll have s times s times s squared plus 2s plus 1 then for our d so d times s to the fourth no? s cubed times s so that would be s to the fourth plus 1 plus e s cubed no? so simplifying this further so we will have 5 s cubed minus 6 s minus 3 so we have e s to the 4 so 4 plus so s squared times 2s that will be 2s cubed plus s squared times 1 so that will be s squared plus b so s times s squared that will be s cubed plus s times 2s that will be 2s squared then plus s for c so we just write c here below c times that will be also equal to okay so for c i believe we don't have an s for c no so just review this one so we made an error for this one so there is no s no, in this one as shown so that will just be equal to should move this one here so this will be equal to s squared plus 2s plus 1 no? so just copy here s squared plus 2s plus 1 plus b s to the fourth plus one plus e s cube okay so i believe that will be this that will be everything no s cube so this will be s four you so s cube then so that this will be here we will have here as s cube no so it pays to review your solution so that you will not be um, you could see what are the um, little, no? little mistakes that may change the answer. Okay, so that will be S cube, no? So for this one, it will be S. Okay, so we now go to equating coefficients, no? So equating coefficients of first we will have here for s4 no s4 so for s4 we have in this side of the equation we have no um, coefficients for s4 so this will be equal to 0 for this one we have a then that is s cubed so plus d so that will be our equation 1 then for s cube so we have 5 is equal to 
2a so because we have s cube so 2 times a that will be 2a plus b no? for b s cube plus d then plus that will be equal to plus e no? okay then for x s squared so we have 0 so no s squared for this one is equal to a then plus 2b then we have plus c then no more no, no more s squared for this one here for s okay so we have for s so s we have negative 6 is equal to 2c no? I believe there is no other s ah, okay this one will be so plus b no? okay you should write this one in the correct order no? so we have um, that will be b plus 2c so this will be our equation 2 this will be our equation 3 and this will be our equation 4 okay next so s so well, what is next for us is s0 or the constant no so s0 so that will be equal to negative 3 on this side of the equation then we have for this one c no so our c is equal to negative 3 okay so if we are going to substitute this one substitute to equation 4 so we could now solve for our b so that would be negative 6 is equal to b plus 2 times negative 3 no so negative 6 is equal to b minus 6 then it will be in plus transpose on the other side of the equation we have negative 6 plus 6 that will be b so b is equal to zero no then we could substitute no substitute uh, b and c to equation to equation okay, to equation three no? so we will have uh, 0 is equal to a plus 2b so that will be 2 0 we have plus uh, no. so, okay. so that will be plus c that will be plus negative 3 ok so we will end up with 0 is equal to a minus 3 because it's just equal to 0 so our transposing that on the other side so 3 is equal to a so our a is equal to 3 no then what's next so substitute our a so we need to substitute a to equation 1 no so just we just need to copy our equation 1 here so equation 1 equals to 0 is equal to a plus d so from this one we could so solve for our d so 0 is equal to 3 plus d so that's that's free to the other side d3 so that will be negative 3 is equal to d okay then the last one so we need to substitute a b c and d I believe A, B, C, and D. Oh no, only A, B, and D. This is no C. So A, B, and D to equation 2. So we just need to copy first our equation 2. So that will be 5 is equal to 2A plus B plus 
D, no? plus D, plus, plus D, plus E. So, substituting for the values of A, B, and D, so we'll have 5 is equals to 2 times 3, then plus negative 3, then plus the value of D also is negative 3. Let's just check first the value of B. So B is equal to 0. No? So this is equal to 0. So that will be equal to 0. Okay. This will be plus E. No? So we will have 5 is equal to 6. So that will be 0. Minus 3 plus E. No? Check first the value here. So 2e then d is equal to. Okay, let's check first here the value of our d. It will be negative 3. No? Negative 3. Okay, so we have. So we have here okay. so we have here 5 is equal to 6 minus 3 that will be 3 plus e no then we will have 5 minus 3 is equal to e so our e is equal to 2 okay so now we could substitute our partial fraction huh? so we could now have this one here so we have so we're writing everything no then um, substituting the given formula so we have the inverse Laplace transform of um, 5s cubed minus 6s minus 3 all over all over s cube s plus 1 squared so this would be equal to the inverse of the plus transform of it will be a over s so our a is equal to let's just see uh, this one was our a so a is equal to 3 so that will be 3 over s plus b s squared over s squared so that is 0 s squared plus our c no? c over s cubed so our c is equal to negative 3 so that will be negative 3 over s cubed s cubed then plus d no? d over s plus 1 so our d is negative 3 also so negative 3 over negative 3 over s plus 1 okay then we have plus e no? plus e over s plus 1 squared so our e is equal to 2 so 2 over s plus 1 squared okay so we could use the um, one of the properties of inverse laplace to laplace this one individually no so we could have that one as inverse laplace of 3 over s plus inverse laplace of this one is already zero so we need not to consider this one so we we'll just go here no because this is just zero so it will be negative 3 over s squared plus the inverse Laplace of negative 3 over s plus 1 plus the inverse Laplace of 2 over s plus 1 squared. Okay, so getting the inverse Laplace for this one, so this will be equal to 3, no? 3 in negative 
3 over 2 so in a plus for in a plus transform for um, this one is this is s cubed no so to be 2 factorial so this will be s cubed so 3 over um, 2 then t squared minus so this will be equal to 3 t negative t we have plus 2 then that is squared so first shift showing that will be 2 t a negative t okay so and this will be our answer okay so i hope you understand something in this video for in the next videos we'll be also tackling about case number three and case number four in which you, you, your roots are quadratic no? quadratic which is non-repeating and quadratic non uh, quadratic non-repeating and quadratic repeating okay so thank you for watching i hope you learned something